Hey guys, this is Alex, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, actually manage your trades once you, you have them on, on, on your portfolio so that you can improve your probabilities. Uh, these are trades that I made today. Uh, we're going to focus on these two because you, these uh, purple dot are from the small portfolio that, that we were uh, talking in the last videos. So these two trades are trades that went against us so we we were wrong on what we said it was gonna do so i'm gonna show you in this video how to improve your probabilities to uh to do better in those instances and even uh, in some cases recover or or even win uh win the trade so let's let's uh recap all the other trade that we made in that uh portfolio the five thousand dollar portfolio um, so here we are in my Google Sheets that I use for my trades. Here I am filtering only on, on those trades that, are, that were on those small portfolio. And here we can see the different kind of trade that we have, uh, the different ETF that we were trading and how much we won and lost. As you can see, we won in, in four out of five, but the one that we lost, we basically lost all our, our profits so if we sum all of them you can see that we we end up losing $22 which is uh, of course not great but let's focus on each one and, and see how to how you can manage your trade let's start with the the one that went our way the first one will be on TLT we sold it for a total credit of $96 and sold it for a debit of $48 so once we got to 50% of our profit, we close it. So that was an easy win. Easy, easy to manage those trades and those are perfect because we, we're making money. Uh, the next two are going to be these two. And we didn't get to the 50% of our profit, but as we stated in our, in our trading plan, we were going to close them when we get to 21 days to expiration. So in these two, we got to 21 days. So we closed them. We were winning forty dollars in XLU and winning only eleven dollars, almost twelve dollars in QQQ. And this is counting the the fees. Here you can see the different fees that we, we pay in each one. So let's uh, take a look at the one that it didn't went our way. Let's start with FXY, and this let let me show you the the chart first. So this is the daily chart of FXY. This is the, J the Japanese Gen ETF. And we made the trade around here. We made the Iron Condor, the 8387 and the 9094. So the short legs will be the 90 and the 87. Th that's our trade. And we can check it out here. Let me... We can see the trade here. This is the trade that we made. So here you, you can see we, we did it on the 11th of, of January. And let me do a similar trade here. And this was the, the trade that we, we, we made at that time. So what happened? We were uh, completely wrong. Once we did it, the next couple of days went, went directly to our uh, short, uh, short strike of our put strike. So around here, one, once it touches, we have to start uh, thinking of what we want to do right how can we improve our probabilities so that what i did is i closed this leg because if we're all the way down here it's very unlikely that it was, it's going to jump back up so the the premium here of the call side is almost uh we're winning quite quite a bit so i close it and roll it down this is what how, how do you call a roll in, in the same expiration. So I, I it expired on, on, on March, so I didn't change that expiration. I closed this one and sold the 88 uh, call around here. So now if, if it stays between those two, I'll make money, but I am getting more more credit. So let, let me try and, and show you how, how to visualize it uh, better. So this is the first trade over here. And this is the second trade. I close the 90 
and open buy to close the 90 and sell to open the 88 and the same expiration you can see here the the same days so the same expiration but i got uh 40 cents so i'm i'm now half 90 93 cents from the first trade plus 40 cents uh, of the second trade so in total we we have 93 plus 40 one dollar and 33 cents so far in this in this trade so what i did is basically move this call to the 88 i sold this one i move it to the 88 and receive in total 133 the sum of both so you you saw there how our the, the green zone is where, where we make money so we expanded that green zone so we, we are improving our, our, our probabilities basically so even even though we were wrong again we, we can see that we were pretty wrong in, in this trade we were betting that it's gonna stay between these two lines so we, we miss it but when we close it and i and i close it today i close it for one dollar and five cents so in total i end up making money so even though we were wrong we ended up making uh 25 dollars so this is a that, this is a good example of how to how you are defending a trade and end up making money in, anyway i could have rolled both legs the long and the short and that way i won't be adding risk in in terms of uh my max loss so the the max loss the original max loss let's go back again and and check what was the original max loss was 310 dollars so this is the capital needed uh for this trade when i move it down two dollars i am adding two dollars of risk right one once I, I move it to 88 i'm adding two dollar of risk because i i didn't uh, close this other leg but the max loss is all the way here so you have to jump all the way here in the next two weeks basically or so a little bit of, over two weeks for me to uh to get that max loss so i i don't i didn't care and didn't do both and just decided to do only one leg so that's why i i, I did it uh, if i follow my plan i should have closed it on 21 days that was last friday but i was away from the computer uh, basically whole day on friday and yesterday so that's why i, I, I closed it today and let's check out the other trade which is uh the one that we did last and it's let's go back and it's in iyr this is a real estate uh etf and let's check it out again the the trade i made it around here and as soon as i made it the price continue upward very very fast so we were wrong again we were betting that this was gonna stay around here i was betting that it's gonna was gonna get tired and i i we were wrong so what did i did the same thing the untested side so this is the tested side the one that i'm losing what i did is i touch i close the one that i'm making money and move it up to get more credit but in this case it was so uh so fast that i went inverted what do i mean is that i, I move it up above the 82 so now the put is over the the call side let's check it out okay so this is the the ori original trade let's make a similar trade um we sold it for one dollar and three cents and it went up very very rapidly so i i decided to roll up the put side so again this is the tested side so the pull side i decided to close buy to close the 78 and sell to open the 84. so right now i went uh inverted like this so as you can see the put 
is over the call. So the important thing about going inverted is the, the, the premium that you collected should not go over that amount of, of price. So we have $2. If, if we, let's say I sold it for 130 and I got 50 cents here, then I, it, it was going to be a bad idea. So here, what I was trying to do is a scratch trade, basically uh, go for, for a break even trade and just try to, to lose less money. If we, the, the total credit right now will be $2 with two cents. So let's see, let first one, one, one thirty plus 72. So it was $2 with two cents. So what, what it's saying is that if it goes back between these two break even, I, I'm almost guaranteeing a, a break even if it goes back down. And if it goes back, if, if it continue to go up, then I, I am getting more uh, premium here. I am reducing by 72 cents that my max loss if it ended up there. The mistake that I did make here was because it is a defined risk trade. I should have just leave it and try to play the, the probabilities uh, because let, let's go again to the trade, which was the 84 put. And I made 202. So that, that's the trade that I have once we, we roll. But let's go to the analyze, analyzing uh, tab. And here we can see clearly this is where the price is. Uh, we were losing $125. If we went back down, you, we can see here the at the expiration we will make $2 because the sum of all the, the, the credit is just two cents uh, above the two dollars in, in terms of the uh, uh, of the distance between the, the put and the call. So this I was trying to go to for a, for a break even, but I I honestly just closed it because of, of the days two expression wasn't paying too much attention attention. But if if, if I if this was my main account, I will just leave it and try to uh, scratch the trade because I still have extrinsic uh, value. And let's say I, I was going to lose, I ended up losing, let's say $140. $140. I ended up losing $140. So to lose $140 at expiration, it will have to be around here. So this is, we, we are here on the, uh, around 85.50. Around 85.50 will be the, the, the price to lose at the expiration, the same that I'm losing right now. So we, if I close it right now, I'm just guaranteeing that loss. But if it goes down, I, I will break even trade. And the chances to for it to go to 45.50, we can actually check out the probabilities of 45.50. Uh, it's around here. So the probability will be 22% probability. So we're, we have almost 80% chance we end, end up better by not closing this trade. So at, at the end, I, that, that was a mistake that I made, but ho hopefully it was helpful, this uh, explanation. If you have any uh, questions, you can put it in the in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to, to answer them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to continue to, to see this type of videos. Thank you very much and take care.